to the theme that we're hearing from your teammates and from coach tonight that this team offensively wasn't doing a good enough job echoing calls late would you agree that that was it echoing calls communicating offensively would you agree that was the biggest issue down the stretch yeah i have to agree with that uh coming out the timeout we gotta know our plays uh gotta know what our defensive concepts are and um it's youth it comes with that and and um a lot of good is going to come out of this, you know. I mean, we're battling with these playoff teams down the stretch. They're, all those guys are healthy, and uh, we're battling with them to the end. So uh, we just got to keep on fighting each and every possession. And when those last four minutes come down to that crunch time, we got to be able to close it out. And you said at youth, Alonzo Trier, obviously upset ab over this game tonight. How do you, and you want to see that from the young guys, but at the same time, how do you make sure you keep their heads in the right place as you lead this team? Yeah, just got to make sure I go in, go in tomorrow, watch film with them. Um, make sure we look at things that we can't correct uh, as a group, things that we can't control uh, personally and as, as a team, as a group, and, uh, and move forward. You know, we got a, a young, talented team in Dallas that we're about to go up against on Friday, so we got to be prepared for that. 37 points for you. You continue to shoot the ball incredibly well, but then tonight you've got guys like Dotson, Von Lake contributing double figure points. How do, does that also take the pressure off of you? It helps me out tremendously. You know, those guys work their tails off in offseason to get to where they are right now, and uh, uh, they're confident out there. And that's us telling them to go out there, shoot when you're open, attack when when you feel like it's necessary, and uh, and make plays. Go make plays, and um, it's freeing up their game tremendously. When you look at what you've done, some elite teams you've played already in this league and you play them tough, but how many will finish it? But is there a learning curve that you get from late in the game and learning how to do that? Have you, are you seeing that? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, you, you only could go through so many games and say it's, it's the youth, you know. It's got to come a point in time where we got to buckle down and, uh, and, you know, close these games out, especially when we have a four-point lead with, like, three, four minutes left to go in the game. Um, so... With that being said, you know, just got to move on, learn from it. We know what we have to do as a ball club. We just got to go out there and execute it. Did you get that ripped open again in the fourth quarter? Huh? Did you get that ripped open again? Yeah, it got ripped open again a little bit. Uh, that's why I'm over here talking, like, you know, all discreet. But it's all good. Comes with the comes with the sport, you know, out there competing. That's all that matters. Down the stretch, final couple of minutes, that steal he had on you. I mean, how good a player. Only you would ask that question. I knew you would ask that question. Only you, Berman. Uh, no, all the Devos are an elite defender, you know. Uh, you got to give him credit. Uh, I've been going against that guy for since 2010, you know, from Big Ten Conference all the way to now. And, uh, you know, he, he just gets elite, elite every single year. And, uh, he improves in all aspects of his game. So, uh, you know, you got to give him respect for that. He's a great defender. Crunch time, they put me on him, and he made plays. Tim, uh, Tim Penn at the line for you tonight in 7 or 11 from 3. Do you feel like you're making more of a concerted effort to get to the line to kind of open up the 3 rather than just settle for the 3? Three yeah, three? yeah, just, um, you know, get easy ones. You know, don't waste your energy so much on trying to score the ball. And, you know, get easy ones, uh, cut hard, um, get extra possessions for your team. Uh, and also gets them in the bonus a little bit more quicker, a little bit faster. So uh, just try and do what I can, just attack, go downhill, and and uh, help my team out. Does that open up the three ball for you, given that as well? Again? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. They're going to play the three anyway. They want me to drive, so it is what it is. What makes a bonus tough uh, tonight for you guys? <laughs> you know, he's a big, strong dude, man. Uh, I don't think he. I don't think he shot uh, 15 to 17 footer today at all. I think all his shots were inside the paint. And as a team collectively, we gotta do a better job. That can't happen. Uh, can't happen. You gotta put him to the line or do something. You know. You gotta credit him though. He came out here and competed his tail off, and he was definitely the, a big contributor contributor of it of their team today.